serious. I am beyond serious. The plan you are proposing is not possible. No, it is not probable. But if there is even a 2% chance, how can we not take it? Establish a second channel. No grand pronouncements between governments, but intimate discussions between people held somewhere isolated. Totally, where Israel and the PLO can meet alone and talk. Your future will be decided by us. Your nation is surrounded by 350 million of us. If you think we are going to roll over on the issue of our security, you are sorely mistaken. You will have no security until we have our dignity. Until we have security, you will have nothing. Stop it. Stop it. We don't have time. Listen to me. You have fought each other, killed each other for 50 years. Your mothers and daughters and sons have died and nothing has changed. The world has washed its hands of this conflict because they do not believe you can change. No one else is coming to help you, so it is up to you. Perhaps we could go for a walk? I admire the way you fight. Thank you. I admire your passion. My daughter Maya says with me, passion is another word for pig-headed. Maya? Yes, my daughter. My daughter is named Maya, my youngest. She is the light of my life. Our peoples live in the past, both obsessing over what we have lost. Let us find a way to live in the present together. You and I, we are going to change the world. The Oslo Peace Accords were signed on 13 September 1993. Needless to say, they didn't last. But we created a process. Seeing all this, is that not clear? A first step without a roadmap. Mistakes and foolish choices, of course, of course. But we began. My friends, do not look at where we are. Look behind you. See how far we have come. If we have come this far through blood, through fear, hatred, how much further can we yet go? There, on the horizon, the possibility. Do you see it? Do you? Good.